Hi, this is Nathan. I just want to take you through this document that we'll be using for your uh, assignment this week, um, creating a relationship circle. And this document has been included with your assignment in Google Classroom. I love this document. It has, it goes over the typical structure of the circle. Right here, the general circle format. This is what I would use right here where it says your first thing is your opening. We've talked and we've shared openings in class, your guidelines and values, introduction of the talking piece, check-in, discussion round or rounds, because you, in this part right here, number five, you don't have to have you know four to five rounds on that topic. If you just have time to do just one, I would say just do one or two, uh, do two. You know, you might not get through both of them. Okay, so I think that should say rounds with um, round or rounds. Then your checkout, and then seven your closing. And so what I love about this document is it goes through each one. Number one, the opening. It gives you examples, like suggested language to use, and it goes into your guidelines. Um, you know, we worked on the guidelines together, but with your time restraint. Um, you could make this quicker by posting guidelines already and then just asking for any that needs to be changed or any that um, they're making sure everyone can agree to those guidelines. Um, again, it goes through values. Okay, it takes you through what that is. A great way to talk about that. Introduction and talking piece if you're on Zoom. Then this step, I would say it could be as simple as explaining the process of you know, how we go, how are we going to move from one person to the, to the other? Like in class, we tell everyone, um, I pass to as a way to help in that virtual world. Okay, so it could be as simple as just explaining that process and step three is done. If you're in person, especially with COVID right now, you can't have a talking piece. So it would probably work just as, just like how we're doing it in class, come with a way and have the students say, I pass to. And because you'll have a circle that hopefully you can still be in a circle, it'll just be a spaced out circle. So that'd be step three. Um, we have your, your check-in step four. You know, those check-ins can be quick. It can be, you know, it could be as easy as everyone just holding up a number five through four or five through one on their hand of how they're doing that day. Kind of like how we did the, um, the Halloween themed one. And if you don't have time, you can say why, because that's opening it up to, you know, just uh, sharing more about why they chose that number. Or you could just set an example as we're just going to share which number you are and move on to the next. So that could help with time if you have a time constraint there. Um, discussion rounds, again, it could just be one, could be two if you'd like. Your checkout, again, checkout can be something quicker or it can be a, a longer checkout if you have time. And your closing, okay? What I like at the very bottom of this document, and I would suggest reading this because it is a great tool that I would print out and put in a binder. If you're someone that makes a binder um, that called circles that you can start saving circles in there that you've used over the years that work great for your classroom. Um, this is a great page to additional, additional circle starters. And this was shared by um, the Milwaukee public school system. This is one of their resources right here of quick round starters to get those relationships being built. This is the, this is the um, paperwork that I would like you to fill out. It just takes you through. This is your planning. So this would be your planning document that you'll turn into me. Number one, what is the purpose or goal of your circle? Okay, community building, checking in. Maybe there's a, a specific classroom issue you're having. Maybe it's curriculum and content that we'll talk about when we do curriculum circles coming up. Circle introduction. How will you introduce and convey the reason for the circle to your participants? It's nice to have this planned out. Um, just like a lesson plan, establish core guidelines. Okay. What guidelines are you going to share with the students? Are you going to have them create the guidelines? Or are you going to give them five guidelines and have them agree or disagree and add if they want to add? Your opening. Okay. Notice establishing core guidelines. That's where the values fall in under step three as well. Um, opening. Okay. They give, they give suggestions. And remember to look at the front of this document. The top of the document has more details about each one of these. Um, the talking piece, how you're going to introduce the talking piece. That's your plan. 
Number six, your check-in. You plan there. Your rounds, so you'd write your round questions here. Or just round for time constraints. I know we, we know we have 30 minutes to do these. Hopefully, if you're in elementary during that time in the morning, um, the SEL time, the morning meeting time. Um, if you're in secondary, junior high, it could be during your um, homeroom time. Also, if you don't see kids, there's some that don't, you don't see kids. Maybe it could be with the you could practice on your family at home. It could be um, maybe a community group. Um, maybe three or four of your colleagues from this class that get together, and so you can try it out. Okay. And number nine, you're closing. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help or any of us on the team. But this is your relationship building circle assignment. So you are to go through the planning document, fill this out, and then try the circle out. And it's when I say write a brief just reflection, I mean, that should could be just literally a page. It could be double spaced even just I just want to we just want to see how your experience was trying it for your first time. Okay. And so again, if you have any questions about it, just yell out to any of us to myself, and we'll get those questions answered for you. And I will see you not this Saturday, but the Saturday after that.